Welcome back to the penultimate episode of Ready Steady Build. That means one from last, by the way. Technically, there will be eight episodes in this series, but the final one will be a showcase of some of your wonderful creations that you submitted a few weeks ago. This week's guest is the one and only Blubber. Blubber is a master builder in the Channel 5 gaming community and is well known for his incredibly detailed park, Less Is More, for the mini park contest. Joking aside, Blubber is an incredible builder and was involved in creations such as Plankoville and the notorious Wheelmire. Hello, Blubber. Hello. How are you today? I'm doing good, thank you. How are you? Very good. I'm good. The first question I have to ask, naturally, is about your name. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, obviously you've got you've got the the, the normal blubber, which is what you're known as um, in yeah. like, places like Channel Five and stuff. But then obviously on stream, I'm not even going to yeah, try and now... pronounce your name. You go, you go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I could do it. Yeah. Yeah. So it all started as a kid. Everyone started uh, gaming as a kid, right? And you needed a name. So I thought it sounded funny naming myself Blubber Hoofd. Mm -hmm. And the Hoofd translates to head in Dutch. Okay. So it's kind of Blubber Head. <laughs> right. That makes so that's sense. where it's called from. Just a funny name as a kid. And eventually, after a while, I grow old. And mm -hmm. everyone just called me Blubber instead. It's easier for the English speaking people. Yeah. So it, it, it just stick with Blubber at the end. <laughs> and I prefer sense. it that way as well. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's good to know, like, with the translation, it makes uh, much more sense. Yeah. Um, so how did you, well, when and how did you come into streaming? Like, what point did you start? Uh, I think I started at the end of 2018. Okay. Um, before, on the, before that, I was just a, a normal viewer on Twitch. Mm -hmm. I, w I watch pretty often, uh, yeah, just other Planko streamers or something. And then, yeah, in 2018, I started, um, I thought, why not do it as well? Mm -hmm. I had some pretty decent Planko skills, I guess. Yeah. And why not share those skills with people online? Yeah, absolutely. So Mine. that's kind of how it started. I'm very grateful that you did. You do, uh, yeah. <laughs> you do indeed have uh, some great skills, um, which I think is yeah. funny because um, well, I mentioned a bit in the uh, in your intro, but uh, especially within the Channel Five community, you're known. <laughs> for, I'm not going to say being a troll, <laughs> but, but you you yeah, like you to, can say it. Yeah, you, you like to make the odd uh, troll creation, um, oh. including like uh, less is more and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Do, <laughs> do you want to talk a bit about that? Like, what? <laughs> where does that come from? <laughs> Just the less is more than general, or just the trolling? Just, yeah, just generally <laughs> Blubber being a troll. <laughs> uh, I just enjoy having fun and yeah. with the people like, yeah. Um, I don't really care what's happening, I just want to have fun with everyone else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's mainly where it comes from. Yeah, no, that um, makes sense. Yeah, and also with the creations. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they don't always make sense, but it's fun, so. And everyone's is. having fun with it. So. I think you you always need a bit of light relief. Uh, yeah, amongst exactly. All the serious creations, but I mean, at the same yeah. time, I, I mentioned that you obviously make some really high quality stuff, which is why it's nice. Like, if some people come into it just uh, seeing something like Less Is More, which uh, for those who don't know, <laughs> it's, it's just uh, it was your submission to the mini park contest, which was just uh, an yep, empty park. An empty park. Yep. Um, it's nice when people maybe are in introduced to you in that format, but then when they actually take the time to look into your stuff, uh, like what we're watching now and uh, other things like uh, Wheelmire, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> your your creations are, uh, well, yeah, amazing. Yeah, I think I've proven myself in the past with my creations. Oh, 100%, yeah. yeah. Um, so back to your, your streaming, uh, do you just stream Planet Coaster or do you stream other things? I stream Planet Coaster mainly, and I also stream Planet Zoo. So it's just the two of those games. Nice. It depends on the mood I'm in, which um, I want to play. And am I right in saying that you're actually working on an alpine park at the moment? Yep, yeah, that's also the park you can see in the background. It's, mm -hmm. I just took a spot on the park. It just helps create an immersion for the building I'm also working on. Yeah. Um, so how yeah, long have you on... been working on that park for? Uh, I started 2019, <laughs> so way too long. <laughs> <laughs> it's, still okay. it's funny, like most people that I speak to, or specifically streamers, uh, are all going for a long time. I think similar with um, Mini Heather, 
uh, from yeah. a couple of weeks ago. She's uh, been working on her She-Ra part for, for quite some time. But I think it's nice <laughs> to, especially if you are a streamer and you know you're going to be spending hours on end um, doing yeah. something, then it's good to just set yourself a huge task like a park. Everyone has one of those parks you can just work <laughs> for years on. <laughs> yeah. Never get it finished. Yeah. Or maybe I should start doing that. I just See, I always uh, commit myself to mini parks because I think I, I get bored of the same park and I want to... Um, yeah, I think if I was to commit to something over like two or three years, I would just, I wouldn't find the motivation to come back to it. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Um, that's very good. And uh, what are you working on in Planet Zoo at the moment? Um, so I have a few collabs running. Uh, also a recreation from the uh, Tropical Island Park in Berlin. Mm -hmm. It's a water park in Berlin, but I turned it into a zoo. Mm. The nice. whole building is a recreation, so it's pretty interesting. And I also work on a national American park. Yeah. So yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Um, so let's talk about your your build for the the Ready Steady Build challenge. Um, did you? So when I came to you and asked you to to be involved, uh, what were your like mm -hmm. initial thoughts on how you were gonna tackle the the challenge? Uh, I wanted to build something I could use for the park as well so it would be a win-win <laughs> yeah that makes sense efficient use of time <laughs> yeah um yeah I, I didn't really take a look at pieces i got i saw some screenshots from other ones so i saw there was wood in there so i thought it was gonna be fine mm -hmm. <laughs> except yeah. i usually i usually don't do speed builds i'm mm. a very slow builder <laughs> i think we all are to so, be honest so that's what, <laughs> yeah so that was gonna be the biggest challenge yeah but it was fun doing it. Yeah, I think uh, I, I said uh, probably a couple of times in different episodes now, but um, the the set that the 100 pieces lend, lended themselves very well to uh, either Alpine or Western because there was a lot of uh, yeah for sure wood pieces yeah. and obviously the bonus of you already building an Alpine park. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you, you were very prepared. Um, so yeah, exactly. Very, handy. very good. So, um, do you want to talk about your? Your process enlighten us how did you how did this build come together uh, yeah at first I always start with the structure with the shape of the building I wanted to have mm -hmm. so it's I don't want it to be blocky so there's some things sticking out yeah and also the traditional Alpine buildings always have like a balcony with some flowers and fronds mm -hmm. it's, it's so typical so I had to use that as well yeah um, yeah, and of course the wood structures, a little bit mixed with the smooth concrete. Mm -hmm. I think it works re really well. Yeah, it's a really nice blend, and I love what you you did because I, <laughs> I remember during the stream you were saying uh, I can't cope without planters. Um, yeah. So, so you decided to make your own, and I think they look amazing. They <laughs> are they just windows? Is that right? I think I did it out of windows. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I I just had to have them. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do an alpine. So I, I had to find a way. Yeah. <laughs> No, I think that, uh, yeah, they came together really nicely. Um, yeah. How was it working with uh, the limited pieces? Uh, I think the pieces were actually fine. It's also many pieces I would use normally in the park. Mm -hmm. And yeah, also there's pieces I didn't even use. Yeah. I, I think I did use the coal piece though at the end, <laughs> just because <laughs> yeah. I had to. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't remember who. Somebody mentioned the coal, and then you said, "Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'll make sure I yeah. <laughs> involve it somehow." <laughs> make sure I use that. Yeah, which you see at the end, nice little touch to it. Yeah. Uh, now I love how you did. Uh, it all looks um, quite. I don't know how to say it. Like it looks like a custom build um, in the way that you've used, you've repurposed items, you flip them around, and you get a lot of like natural aesthetics, especially with the planters. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's a. Uh, it's very nice. I'm watching you. It, it all came together very quickly, which is what I was amazed by. Like, um, it, it didn't feel quickly. I, I remember <laughs> the time going so fast. <laughs> really? No, I think you, you, you very quickly had the initial shape of the build, um, which is great because then you can then spend the rest of the time working on the details. Yeah, exactly. Which is good. Uh, how, how was it working uh, with the within one hour? Uh, horrible. <laughs> <laughs> That's a sensible answer. As I said before, I, I'm a really slow builder, so it really was a challenge to just make a finished building in one hour. Mm -hmm. 
I, I think I've done uh, previously. I've done one speed build, but it was three hours, so okay, it's still a lot easier. Yeah. So That's... yeah, that was a big challenge. Yeah. Would you say that you was there anything during the challenge that you maybe <laughs> did you benefit at all from the challenge? Like, did you get anything from it that you can maybe take forward? Like, I know that um, Mini Heather said that she now uses this. She sets herself time limits when she's building something because she feels like she gets uh, she gets more done. Uh, I don't know if there's anything that you take from it. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to build faster after this. But... <laughs> <laughs> so if anything, I've just confirmed that you don't like building fast. <laughs> yeah, I like taking my pace at things. And just I'm, I'm really a perfectionist. I want every angle to look right and stuff like that. So you yeah. really need time if you want that. Yeah, well, I mean, but you it, should, uh... it's good. Sorry, you can. It's it's good to know I can build fast if I really need to. Yeah. So if I really need to get something done, I can do it. Mm -hmm. It's uh, yeah, I guess most of the time there is never any need to to speed build and planker. It's quite an enjoyable process to do things slowly. But, uh, yeah. But there we go. Well, it's done now anyway, and then <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you had the experience at the very least. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, would you say that the time was the the hardest part of the challenge, or was it something else? Yeah, definitely the time. Mm -hmm. I think the pieces were fine for me. It yeah. was mainly the time that was stressing me out. I was sweating a lot, and it was so <laughs> warm. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting a lot of people telling me like how much this stressed them out and stuff, and I'm like, your god. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe I should never have done this, but uh, no, I think hopefully it was uh, it was worthwhile. Hopefully, it's an entertaining series oh yeah it was fun for sure good and even with twitch on the side which also is distracting <laughs> yes but it's fun having the people around as well yeah it's quite hard to uh keep tabs on uh chat when you're um, yeah building but um, yeah, and I'm, I'm i'm only using one monitor so <laughs> yes it's not making it easy either no no i can't imagine that's uh, that's the easiest process um very good so what uh, well are you Overall, are you happy with the, the finished build? Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, if I had longer, I would maybe change some things. Uh, also, the Z fighting, the flickering of the pieces a little bit. Yeah. But overall, I'm pretty happy, and it's now uh, yeah, a building in my Alpine Park, so it will stay there forever with memories. Ah, oh, amazing. Um, if you did have more time, what would, uh, what would you change or add? Um... Yeah, it's probably going to be little things, um, some more um, detailed trims, stuff like that. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, more the, the little stuff. Yeah. yeah very nice. Um, so people can find you on Twitch. Yes. And where can they find you? Um, on Twitch TV slash blubberhoofd97. You can check the name uh, at the bottom of the screen. <laughs> <laughs> and <laughs> makes it easier. <laughs> uh, anywhere else on socials that people can find you? Um, you can uh, mainly just Twitch, and if you can find me on the find me on Discord, uh, sure, send me a DM if you want to talk. Track him down. I'm always maybe, there to have fun. Maybe send him yeah. a troll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm all for trolls. <laughs> um, do you have a, a streaming schedule? Um, I mainly tend to stream on Saturday afternoons mm -hmm. uh, at the, the cheat time um, and occasionally pop a random stream when no one is expecting it. <laughs> <laughs> a surprise stream. Yeah, I, I, uh, I, I feel bad today that I, I hijacked you from your stream <laughs> today. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's alright. <laughs> it's been, uh, like for most people, I've recorded these interviews normally about four or five weeks ahead of the video uh, whereas we're doing this uh, a week before yours goes into early access so um, yeah <laughs> that's down to my own uh, terrible availability and planning but there we go <laughs> oh and i was also in holiday in the meantime so it's that's kind true. Of both, there guess. we go <laughs> we can all now blame blubber <laughs> so. okay well thank you very much i'm just uh, just still looking at this and admiring it um i think the the amount of detail I think I'm safe to say this is probably the most detailed build out of the series. I won't say what the best build is, because that would be favouritism, um, but the <laughs> amount of detail that you've got into this is uh, quite incredible, and I think we're about to see your uh, 
your little addition of coal. So oh yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Somewhere in the last minute, I think. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and then wasn't it that? Um, oh yeah, it got put onto different into different buildings, and then yeah, <laughs> different scenery groups. <laughs> what was supposed That's to be so a, a funny little last touch ended up being a bit of a nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, there we go. Um, yes, I just want to say thank you very much for taking part. Thank you for the offer. It was fun. <laughs>